Okay, so we have to find the uh, following values. We have to find I, uh, VC, IL, and then we have to find the energy stored in the capacitor and the inductor. So it's under DC conditions. So first, let's go with the current passing through this inductor. Sorry, uh, capacitor. The fo formula to find the current passing through here will be the value of the capacitor times the change of voltage over the change of time. And for the inductor, to find the voltage at that point, it'll be the inductor value times the change of voltage, sorry, the change of current over the change of time. So it's under DC conditions. So we're going to take the uh, fact that T equals to infinity. Okay, so time, it's been a really, really, really long time. So T is infinity. So it'll, the voltage will be zero and the current will be zero. So that means for this, since the voltage is zero, we can do a short circuit and leave a wire here. And since the current here is zero, we can do an open wire here. And since an open wire here, the current is zero, we can ignore this entire portion of the circuit. So we can rewrite right like this. Okay, so we, we know I is passing through here, and we also know IL is passing through here. So that means I will be equal to IL. Now to find I, we know uh, the voltage is 12, and the total amount of resistors is uh, 1 plus 5. So I will be equal to 2, which means IL will also be equal to 2. Now let's see what we can find. So let me erase all of this that I put here. And let's see what we can do now. Now we want to find out VC. Well, VC, it's going to be the difference of voltage between here and here. Okay. We're going to obviously going to ignore this resistor because the current passing through is zero. So we need to find the voltage at this region. So we know what I is. I was two. And we know that this is 12 volts. So 12 volts minus uh, two amps times the resistor will give you uh, 10 volts, okay? So 12 minus two times one, that gives you 10 volts. So that's what VC is, okay? As the ground node is zero volts, so 10 minus zero is still 10. So VC will be 10 volts. Okay, now let's see what we can do now. Uh, we need to find uh, the energy stored in the capacitor and the inductor. So for energy stored in the capacitor, it's equal to 1 over 2 times the capacitor value times the voltage squared. So the capacitor value is 1 uh, far, and the voltage value, it was 10 squared. OK? So 10 to the power of 2, that's 100, divided by 2, that's 50 joules. Now for the inductor, it's equal to 1 over 2, the value of the inductor, times the current passing through it squared. So it'll be 1 over 2 times 2 Henry times the current, which was 2 volts, sorry, 2 amps. So that gives you 4 joules. And those are your final answers.